This is going to be a short, hopefully fun video, a little different from my usual stuff. About a month ago, I did a video and experimented with a Paul Harvey type in reveal. I'm going to try another one, so you'll have to stick with this all the way to learn the surprise ending. I hope you like this format for an occasional video. In the early 1930s, an amateur inventor hatched an idea while tinkering in his garage. Like all inventors, John Thompson was sure his invention would revolutionize the world. He kept improving on his idea until he felt he had a design ready for prime time. He built prototypes and by May of 1933 he had applied for and been granted a patent for his model. The final piece of the puzzle would be to sell his idea to some company, any company, that would embrace his idea and commit money and manufacturing expertise in order to get the new idea from the prototype stage to the market. That's where John ran into the roadblock he could not overcome. He presented his revolutionary idea to company after company always getting basically the same response. Your idea is interesting, but we don't think it can be produced on a scale necessary to make it a viable product. After two years of rejection, John was totally beaten down and had pretty much given up. Then along came Henry. Henry, who was much more adept at being a salesman, was intrigued by John's idea. Henry gave John a few hundred dollars for the prototypes and patent and began his own quest to get the ball rolling. He approached a leading company in the field and eventually got an opportunity to present the information to the engineering staff. There Henry received the same feedback that had worn John down. It's a nice idea, but not manufacturable. Not to be deterred, Henry went to the receptionist and requested a meeting with the president of the company. The receptionist told Henry emphatically, no, not without an appointment. Henry then pulled out the prototypes and copy of the patent, showed them to the receptionist and said, would you prefer your president to see this or your competitor's president? She reluctantly took the information to her boss, who was intrigued, and agreed to talk to Henry. The company president, whose name was Eugene Clark, bought into the idea and told his engineers that if they wanted to stay employed, they needed to figure out a way to economically manufacture the newfangled product. At that point, the engineers engaged and indeed figured it out. Henry then went to General Motors and convinced them that his product would revolutionize the auto industry. General Motors agreed and offered to buy the patent. Henry said no, that he intended to license the product and be paid a royalty, a very good move on his part. He eventually made a fortune, $65 million in today's dollars, and John the inventor well, he got shafted and never realized any further compensation. So what is this product that revolutionized the auto industry? A new type transmission? Maybe a revolutionary new windshield wiper system? Or possibly a new, more efficient engine? Nope, none of the above. The new product that Henry Phillips skillfully moved from idea to mainstream use is a fastener design that dramatically increased the speed, efficiency, and quality of automobile assembly lines and became the world standard among fasteners and even today bears his name, the Phillips head screw and screwdriver. And now you know the entire story. A lot of people have asked why I don't use Paul Harvey's ending and now you know the rest of the story. 
Because of the admiration and respect I have for Mr. Harvey, I made the decision not to co-opt his trademark ending. If you enjoyed this video, give a thumbs up, make a comment, and most importantly, subscribe to the channel. As always, thanks for watching.